everyone. Uh, our proceedings have now advanced to uh, their next stage, and we're going to hear now from our distinguished panel of judges just some uh, comments about what they've seen uh, and heard. Once that happens, uh, I will then make the announcements uh, as to who uh, has won our People's Choice Award and who has our second place award and who has our first place award. Without further ado, judges, the stage is yours. One thing I was looking for, and I think uh, many of y'all, uh, some of y'all did this better than others, but I was looking for a, a statement at the very beginning what the purpose was. And it, sometimes it was a little unclear, but if it was stated right up front, then I knew what to anticipate or what I was looking for. Um, and then once that statement, then to show me the urgency, why does that matter? For example, um, the fight against hunger. I thought that statement was very clear uh, with the population and why that urgency was there. And then at the end, is there some sort of conclusion? Is there some sort of proof? Now, for some of y'all, that wasn't there because you haven't gotten to that point, but I was looking for something that at the end it gave me hope that there was, this research was gonna go someplace in the future. So I'll, I'll keep my uh, comments general because I think you covered very well, very, you know, kind of what we were looking for as judges. But uh, I think it was Mark Twain that said, sat down and said, I, I would have wrote you a short letter, but I didn't have time, so I wrote you a long letter. And, um, and so what you've learned today is how hard it is to say what you want to say in such a short time. And this is the hardest presentations. I do presentations all the time, and I love it because I can just get on the stage and ramble along for about 45 minutes to an hour. And that is so much easier than trying to do what you guys are trying to do in three minutes. And you all did an outstanding job and, and should be proud for, you know, every one of you for both the research you did and how you communicated it. And, um, and, it, and when you only have three minutes, then it makes you think about what is the most important things that I need to tell to convince someone of, of an idea. And, uh, and some of you did, did, did better than others, but, uh, but you all did great and very proud of your efforts today. Something else I look for is on the stage present is to uh, walk from side to side, maybe stop in one place and make some comments, make a point, and when you're off that point to move to maybe another side and look at another part, uh, part of the audience. It keeps them all engaged. Uh, I, you know, that's important for me as far as that stage presence. Yeah, I was going to add to the stage presence. I think you guys did a great job, you know, capturing the audience in a short amount of time is really difficult. So the opening has to engage people and wants to make individuals uh, curious about your, your research topic. And you did a nice job opening the conversation in the right way. And then also kind of walking people along. You know, I always tell people is walk me along so I understand it, so I have a few questions. And I think the individuals who made a little more successful work able to walk us along the path. So when we get to the ending, we can't know exactly what the end was going to be. Uh, but again, it's very difficult to share a, a complex topic and months of research in three minutes. So my hats go off to you for being brave to attempt this and being successful in, in delivering a, a great product.
person is future Dr. Laura Keyes. The title of the presentation is Government Responsiveness in Creating Communities for a Lifetime. Future Dr. Keyes, please join us on the stage. Kind of do a drum roll in here. <laughs> okay. The winner of this year's doctoral three minute thesis competition is future Dr. Monica Patel. <laughs> Insect-resistant plants a fight against hunger. Good. 